So the Treasury Secretary, Jack Lew, announced that a woman is definitely going to be on currency. Uh, but while it was supposed to be the $10 bill, now they changed their mind and they're going to do the $20 bill. Um, I totally agree with that. In fact, uh, when we cover the original story, when they said, yeah, we're going to put a woman on currency, but it's going to be the $10 bill, I think in my commentary at the time, I said, why would you do that? <laughs> Take off Jackson, because Jackson, for those of you who don't know, he was pro-slavery, and he was literally pro-genocide. He did the Indian Removal Act, and he did the Trail of Tears. He's most responsible for the slaughter of uh, Native Americans than any other president. And he's still on our fucking money. So, uh, he was a bad dude. So, yeah, take him off, and Hamilton was anti-slavery, uh, and then now, of course, I'm sure as many of you know, there's this very popular musical uh, on Broadway about Hamilton, and it's kind of like revived his story and, and his legacy. Uh, and uh, apparently that actually led the government to go, yeah, I don't know, what are we doing here? Let's get rid of Jackson instead of Hamilton. But what's interesting is they still don't know uh, which woman they're going to put on yet. So... I don't know how they're going to make the decision or if they're going to do some sort of voting. I have no clue. Um, but on the short list, of course, Rosa Parks makes perfect sense. Susan B. Anthony makes perfect sense. Eleanor Roosevelt, Harriet Tubman, Abigail Adams. Um, so, yeah, this, those are all uh, good options. Uh, also, you can go with um, perhaps Sandra Day O'Connor, the first uh, female justice to the Supreme Court. You know, that's super historic. There, there are a million options, which is why I would actually prefer uh, if there were women on more than just one. <laughs> While we're at it, also throw Martin Luther King Jr. on another, uh, you know, piece of currency or, or Thurgood Marshall. Like, there are so many contributions made throughout American history by women, by African Americans, by various minority groups. And, I mean, just be honest about it. It's not as, uh, you know, appreciated in this realm, when it comes to, you know, currency and stuff like that, and when it comes to, I mean, obviously there's like, so there's some national monuments, the Civil Rights Movement, Martin Luther King Jr., that's fantastic, but on currency, I mean, what, we had the coin, the Susan B. Anthony coin, which was around for three and a half seconds, and then that's it, and then everybody else is an old white man, and one of them was pro-slavery and uh, pro-genocide, I think that's stupid, and understand something, guys, so it's not like... Like, I don't want people to misunderstand this as some sort of, like, PC outrage and, like, oh, how dare you. No, I just think it's a better idea, it's a smarter idea, and it makes more sense to honor people on currency who deserve to be honored. That's it. <laughs> so, you know, if, if you want to make the argument that the person should be honored who was pro-slavery and pro-Native American genocide... And that person deserves honor more than somebody like Harriet Tubman or Susan B. Anthony. Uh, you're welcome to make that argument, but I think you're going to lose that argument, and you're going to lose it in a fucking first-round devastating knockout. <laughs>